At every point in time that a, a project that is supposed to be delivered in December is not delivered. You know the fluctuating rate of foreign exchange. You know it. It is nobody's friend. You understand what comes. You will not be entitled to deliver. Yeah, okay. I don't know about that. You understand? Because at the end of the day, all this issue of not able to deliver, then the issue of variation, you understand? Those are issues. And that is why anything you want to do, that you know you can defend is what you are supposed to say because tomorrow when we oversight and by february when we come here and you are saying another story so you are going to turn all these places i don't know thank you that's all i want to say well, i have to ask a question yes. ask a question see what you say um you are one of us uh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. When I share one, I'm talking that you're saying. Chairman of this committee, very important committee, deputy chairman, my distinguished colleagues, chairman of the National Assembly Service Commission, yes, commissioners, and other staff that are here, the contract group. Um, the edifice looks promising. It takes care of future. It looks like if in the next several years to come, it will still, still stand the test of beauty of that time. But I do know that as beautiful as it is this morning, if you are underpaid, you can't do this. If you are, if, if probably the contract sum is low, you will not be able to come up with this. I just want to know, when was the contract awarded to you? And at what sum? And has there been any variation? Has there been any variation? Or you are still on the amount that was awarded to you up to date, you are still sustaining? Then second question that maybe commission would want to say, uh, you got extra plots, you are going to do some external jobs, and you are promising that you will deliver the external jobs by March or June, May, May or June, which implies that part of that job might come in the next year's budget. And we are so sure 
that when the budget comes to us, it will pass. Okay. And that's why you are saying by me. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, asking, sir. Yes. I'm so sorry, yes. sir. Yes. 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 I'm so sorry. Yes. Yes. Because I feel if you have such a futuristic project, mm -hmm. I thought you would have discussed right now, right now with us. And we now know that, okay, these people have extra jobs. And we should create an opportunity of accepting and approving an extra budget for them. But you are so sure that with the ex external project, you are going, the ex extra you are going to do, you are going to deliver by me. And that is not part of previous budget. It's part of your anticipated budget. Sir, you, I, ho I, don't, I hope you are playing two roles. So I think there is a gap, a lacuna. I feel that we have a chairman of a committee who has oversight function, who has a duty to appropriate funds to you, you want expansion. I feel if you've not talk, spoken to all of us, our chairman should know that there is hope. Supposing we see the budget and estimates, we should know that something is coming in because of this. That's my own question. Thank well, you so much. You. Let me just ask um, jokingly, why are you backing the National Assembly official? <laughs> 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 Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues, Vice Chairman of the Committee, my name is Joel First, I want to commend you for creating a basement parking space. In your comments, in your comments, you, you've said the major problem we have, even right now, is parking space. That's for the whole national yes, assembly. Yes, national assembly. No, 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 you are in charge of the national assembly. All of us are structured that come in and go out. You, you are the one who maintains and makes sure that the structure remains for us to come in. You are the one who sees what is happening around. So you are the one who is going to plan for the national assembly for us to be comfortable inside. That's why I'm saying, so do you come let us meet up with the cars and so I want to commend you for what you've done. Yeah, by creating uh, car park. The other thing I want to say is that you've gotten an additional land. Please, I want to beg. In creating car parks, try as much as possible to encourage basement and layered car parks. Because the space we have is, is not inexhaustible. So, in trying to put things in the budget and so then try to put a car park there, please conceive the idea that what is going to be there will be layered car park so you can take more cars and take a lot of cars from, from the space. The modern train. Yes, yeah, so, so please, thank you I want to thank you. I just want to bring what, this to what, that. Can I ask one simple question? Yeah. Where is the entrance? To this place, oh, okay. the entrance is from the National Assembly, sir. From the same National Assembly, yes, sir. That's what we do. It's too tight. It is already tight. So that thing we took, yes, sir. For this massive building, no, but once we move the parking space, there, that will be the entrance. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, it did arise on account of uh, variation in the scope of work because that was critical. You did mention that. So that's justifiable. If there was variation in the scope of work, definitely the, the uh, completion date would automatically change. Then two, you have clinics outside this complex. And you say you are building a, uh, another clinic here. Are you going to close those other clinics or what? I think that will be answered. Nothing. That's what I mean. That's what I'm addressing you. Uh, then, three, the major problem we have had with security, because I was in the House Services Committee in the That's I mean. It's because of this unauthorized caterers and banks are you making plans to relocate the banks and uh, eateries to a particular location since you have additional land because we can't i met somebody yesterday he worked 
he worked in the Sixth Assembly as an SLA to a senator. Yeah. I saw him yesterday. I said, ah, what are you doing here? He said, he came to transact banking business. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can't stop him. Mm -hmm. So, I think that there's an integral part of this project that you think about locating as a commission. You think about locating the banks away from where the pal oh, and now. Yeah, where they are right now. Because they, a lot of people come there in the name of banking transactions and it poses a lot of insecurity. So it's something that I thought. A lot of people come to attack because interest and banks should not be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to add one of the things and uh, I'll direct it to the chairman of the commissioners. You see, because when we started this debt assembly, one thing we discovered that we're front at in the spate of abandoned projects that litter all over the country. It's very worrisome. Puts a lot of money, trillions, and they are not benefiting the country. I know the contractors are very smart. Technical delay so that there will be opportunity for variation. <laughs> That's the truth. The delay between so many technical time that you don't understand. And when the time comes, they say the dollars and I say this and that. And but the thing I say. Sorry, I need to introduce a former governor. Senator Ah, uh, <laughs> my my, my <laughs> Senator Dakwambu. This is uh, from uh, Gombe. This is also Senator Ibrahim Lamido. Lamido from uh, Sokoto State. Uh, I've not seen him for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> to marry another one. I've not seen him. <laughs> then uh, this is also Senator Sharafa Ali from Oyo. Your center, your south, your south. So, like I told you, we have very eminent, very eminent members. Thank you. Because all of us are intelligent like this, because you see, the the, the legislatures, our engine room, are our staff, and their confidence is of our utmost concern. But when we have, when we are here, we are all here together, and the chairman of this committee is here for the first time. It's a bit worrisome. People that are even outside, they have come from, they go, come from very far and they have to meet the fellow chairman of the committees to make sure that things in their area go very fast. And we are here looking at ourselves almost every day. They were not doing it. We are very, very impatient, the tenders. We want things to move fast. Get something off. Let us start another one. The president is in, is in that horrid mood. I want to catch up. Please, the Mr. Contractor, please. That is what we want. If you say we are delivering social time, let us work towards it. There are so many other good jobs to do when you have done well. You, know, you don't want anybody to keep dragging us on technicality. This is not law. They don't weigh all down on technicalities. Uh, why are you talking about lawyers? No, he said no tribunal. <laughs> so that is your my observation. Please, we want to move fast as planned. That. So maybe I can start. Yes, sir. Senator Sita is saying that if you are not happy, you go to court. You can just go to court. <laughs> Senator Sita. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Sita. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman, for allowing me the opportunity to say something. And my distinguished colleagues. Maybe I came a little bit late, but I need an explanation on the cost of this project. That's been nice. No, as a media, I need to know how much, and I also want to know that you are not asking for variation. Is it a fixed sum contract? No, I want to know you are not asking for it no. because no. it does not arise. And when are you handing over the, the key to say I'm hearing 67 percent, I'm hearing 90 something percent? So which one is the authentic one? So and when are you delivering on the project? Then my only yeah. next worry is about ent entry point. The entry point into the National Assembly is already very tight. With this big edifice here and the number of staff that they have and their visitors, if we still use the same entry point to assess this building, 
is going to be a major problem. So is there no way another access can be arranged for people who are going to the commission to go straight to the commission? Those who are going to the National Assembly, go to the National Assembly. So that it can ease traffic. If not, people will be on the queue to enter the National Assembly for one hour. They are still on the queue. So please, uh, these are my few observations. Maybe they just come in. No, maybe just as a brief. Just as a brief to Excellency and the Distinguished Senator that has just come in. This is the project of the National Civil Service Commission. Presently, the Commission is occupying a rented building in Utapo, the center of the little housing. So when we came in as a future commission, we saw that it was not convenient for such a corporate place like the National Civil Service Commission to be located in a rented building and in right in the heart of the town. So immediately we came up with this proposal. It has been on the ground since 2010, but so nobody gave it any attention until when we came in that we said, no, we cannot continue with any huge rent. And that building and not the other conditions, it's not a cocaine all this. So that's why we came up with this one in 2009. Not just started in 2009. 2009. Sorry, 2021. So we started in 2021. So this is where we are. We thought by December we should be able to handle this project and move. We are also in a hurry as a commission because we only have one year to go. Mm. And we won't occupy this. So it's a December, December. December. This year. This year. Yes. This year. This year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then uh, we ran into some two critical issues. We ran into two critical I'm almost answering the, some of the <laughs> questions. We ran into two critical issues. At the beginning, we had an issue in starting the project itself. When the project started, we started the excavation and we found out that there was a rock under. We have to blast this rock. We have to get permission from the dealer before we need to blast it. And that took us almost three, four months before we can get approval. Even the trial blast that we had, some of, uh, of the staff of the site had to uh, spend the night in the cell. <laughs> that we are threatening. Yeah, yeah. To, the wife of the former vice president in particular, she was threatened when she had the um, noise. So they... See, <laughs> it's So, so they can stand for... So, for so, they help. so this is one area where we had a major obstruction. And then the second obstruction is just before some of you came in, we talked about the review of the building. When the project started, we found out that I was on the design, a roof garden. And we said, this is not a pleasure place, it's a warm place. Why do we need a roof? That was the initial concept. Why do we need a roof garden when we need more office spaces? So we had to compare that uh, office, uh, roof garden into office space. And that the changes caused a lot of variations, a lot of approval issues and all this. So this led to the issues of the delay time. So these are the two major issues that we have. So please, please. Sorry, uh, 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 distinguished colleagues, vice uh, chairman, vice vice, I would like to, to seek your indulgence on the issue of numbers. Let us try as much as possible to make it uh, an executive session. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. 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 Any information you blow out here. It's okay. It's not going to be accepted. That's why I'm going to start with you. Make sure they are not here. So people who are not yet uh, familiar with this, um, there are so many things. So so okay. that it can skip. Then when the contractor comes, mm. we will invite the contractor mm. with the committee. Mm. Then you can, you can. Then you know that it's a close. Uh, yes. 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 Sorry, that's just. Quickly before.
before he mm, started responding over. to some mm, of the issues, issue, the issue of the cleaning. Mm. The cleaning is just for the staff of the National Assembly Service Commission, not for the entire yes, yes, yes. National Assembly. That is one. Two, the National Assembly itself, as at now, is working on, on a mini cleaning just to take care of the staff and the legislators. But there is a plot allocated to the National Assembly to a full-fledged hospital. We have been pushing for that, for that type of <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not our responsibility. We can only advise. The responsibility lies with the National Assembly management. The plot is there, line follow. The report I had was that there was even some a uh, consortium that was interested in going into a PPP arrangement mm -hmm. to have that clinic functional, but it didn't work. So this is an area where I think we need to take out with the CNA about it and also to speed up on the ongoing uh, arrangement of this mini clinic. But one here is just for the staff of the commission. It's just a small thing for imagine uh, for past uh, aid. Uh, uh, any critical thing that we need to know before we go up and see? Uh, for the information of um, <laughs> distinguished members, in the 2023 rule, I mean, what you call our group, yes. you know, in 2022, Committee on Establishment and Public Service oversights only the National Assembly Service Commission. Now, in the amended 2023 review, it has the service, I mean, the, the purview of the, of the committee has now been, uh, I mean, there's an extended to also include not only the National Assembly Service Commission, but also the National Assembly. So whatever you are saying, distinguished senator Kambua. No, this no, is. Uh, 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 you know when I see governor, mm. yeah. every governor is a governor. So at the appropriate time, we also take up that issue with yes. the clerk. Yeah. Because for your information, I have only let him know that the National Assembly is also also on our public. I have not had a single meeting. And our first meeting is also going to be with everybody. Okay. So, so we also... when we go around, we yeah. retired immediately, we come up. I think we may let's finish a short discussion. As soon as we can talk to our staff, I watch you. We we'll get to organize it yeah, 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 so that we can sit down yeah. and look at all the figures. It's not of next week. So that. Um, by the time we enter the budget season, yeah, we have to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. since all, all of us yeah. are here, yeah. Yeah. National Assembly Service Commission is here, yeah. we are here. Mm -hmm. So next week, yes. Tuesday, yes. Okay. Tuesday, in the afternoon, by the time we'll 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 communicate. We will communicate. We will communicate. So I think this is a short, it's a very ambitious project. But God willing, we will make it. And it will try to all of us. We have embedded so many futures that maybe it will be different from this place. So that they go down there.